Here we are back at the field and it is a Wednesday, Ron. Why is it a Wednesday? Because it's not Tuesday or Thursday. Correct, he's nailed it. Actually, it is our National Day of Celebration, isn't it? Where we celebrate the fact that colonists came and oppressed the indigenous peoples of the country. If there's anything worth celebrating, I guess that's it. But uh, no, it's not. Kind of like July the 4th in America, except nobody really celebrates that much. It's just an excuse for a beer and a barbie in New Zealand, usually. And the weather is lovely today. There's a little bit of breeze, but not very much. There was more before, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually calmed off a bit. Yeah. So, and there's only Ron and I, because everyone else, of course, has caught the bus down to the treaty grounds to celebrate the Waitangi Day celebrations, where the signing of the treaty between the peoples of New Zealand and the evil European colonists from the England. So, Ron's got a collection of taste, got his glider, FPV glider, and what, have, what else have you got? You got the, you got Nobby for a change, mate. Yeah. And what are you going to fly now? I don't know, maybe the glider. Maybe the glider, he's going to give the maybe glider a go. And of course, over here, on the back of the old truck, we have the little DIY foam board plane. And look, it's got FPV on it. Look, I've flown it FPV, there will be a separate video on that. But there we go, that's it, the little run cam video transmitter camera set up on there. And uh, Ron witnessed the flight. Ron, what do you think of that new plane of mine, mate? Yeah, very bad. Very bad, my ass. Yeah, very good. <laughs> you going to build one? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Damn you. <laughs> but I will be publishing the plans. I'll put the plans up. Not that you need much in the way of plans for that. No. Just cut some bits of foam board and glue them together to look like yeah. an aeroplane. Yeah. That's a simple thing to well, do. Does it really look like an aeroplane? Well, no, but it until it looks like something like that. Yeah. yeah. But no, got all the bugs out of it, flies nice. Yeah. And um, no one else That's today. That braid, was it, or Morteen? Morteen, you got the bugs out of yeah. it, mate, dear. Yeah. But it still flies. Yeah. So no one else here today, Ron? No, not yet. No. I don't know who's coming. I don't know if anyone's coming. No. Maybe just you and me. It's yeah. pretty tragic, isn't it? Yeah. Look, That's, that wing's gone vertical now. Which wing? It's hanging, blowing straight down? Yeah. Yeah, you get that sometimes in the summer here. Yeah. I can hear the I can hear the air raid siren going off in town. Yeah. Oh, no. Someone's <laughs> yeah, someone's barbie's got a bit out of control. Yes. Rightio. Eh? So we'll just wait and see what happens. So first up we've got the glider. The great big polydihedral glider. Old school rules. Ron was going to FPV it, but then he decided he wouldn't. Because he's, he's just going to fly it normal, eh? You're yeah. so resistant to change, Ron. You're so resistant to change. That goes around. Ooh, the motor goes around. The ailerons have jammed on the wing, though, so we're just yeah. going to have to use rudder then, Ron. <laughs> weight shift, use weight shift. Here he goes. Look at that, doesn't that fly nice? That flies beautifully. What are the conditions like up there, Ron? It was a little bit bumpy before, but you're tough, man, you can handle it. Don't eat the transmitter, it's not part of the protocol. Just a gentle breeze this morning, Ron. And the flies are back, eh? Yeah. You'll probably hear them on the microphone. Still, I think flies are very important. It's, if it wasn't for flies, we'd have to take our trousers off every time we wanted to go to the toilet. Yeah. You still haven't got the brake on that motor, yeah. Well, it was windmilling for a windmilling for a bit there. Yeah. In the drain, getting that drain? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I've got lift. <laughs> 20 to 100 million amperes of lift. Yeah, I'll dive and then get to your speed and then level out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's inherently stable, Ron. I can feel the breeze picking up, mate. Yeah. It's supposed to be, what, 20 something this RV? Yeah. It has been a windy summer. Not many perfectly calm days. The last two days were pretty good, but everyone was working. Yeah. I had trouble getting a spotter. I only just managed to get somebody to come and watch me while I videoed. Oh, on the runway, Ron? Yeah. What's with that, mate? You wear all the bolster out. Hey. Is it jittering? My elevator. Is it Parkinson's. 
Yeah, oh yeah, it could be me. That's the old galloping ghost set up wrong. Stop swimming moving. Is it a JR server? They all do that. That's beauty, mate. No, it's a... It's even more frightened of flying than I am. HXT. Oh yeah, that's a Turner G. I might have to replace that. I think you might have to. Old people like me will remember Galloping Ghost and that's just what it looked like. What a beautiful looking machine, mate. Wide runway, is it, Ron? Am I safe standing here? Yeah. <laughs> now I believe you. It wasn't so sure 10 seconds ago. Hey, bit of a crosswind, Ron. What's your short takeoff performance like? Guess we'll find out. Okay. It's going pretty quick today. I put a different motor in it. Did you? Yeah. Doesn't this one make that noise? No. Where'd you get that motor from? Uh, I think it's the one out of the, the MX-5 or MX Oh, okay. Seems to have a bit more grunt. Hey? Seems to have a bit more grunt, eh? Oh, a wing landing. That's yeah. beautiful, mate. That's good. You need to put... That's slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call your air brake on the ground. Yeah, I don't think it'll get off from there. <laughs> High-speed taxi, you reckon? Don't fly it at me! <laughs> it does, eh? Considering you're on the sticks. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that was... it doesn't last long on the battery. No, not with that motor. Not any quieter though, is it, Ron? No, I don't think so. No, it doesn't feel any quieter. Take the prop off. Pro taking the prop off would probably make it quieter, but I don't think it would really produce the desired results. <laughs> there we go, landed, eh? Woo -hoo. That was a good landing. Speed, landed at speed. Runs out with his bonsai. Beautiful, Ron. It was good just now. Where's the sun gone, Ron? Yeah. Stop sunning. I think it must be a cloud overhead. So, we want to have a 
few people here on Sunday, eh? We should try and all try and everybody's A into G, yeah. Yeah, everyone who usually comes out and is watching this video, you've got to come out on Sunday because there's only Ron and me here today. It's been a beautiful day. So Sunday's the day because we've got the airfield closed for half the day as the car club clean after their drag race clean up after their drag racing. So we've got a uh, an empty airfield closed for half a day. The weather forecast is brilliant, so I want to see everybody here. That's Stephanie and Adam from Rutherer and John from Matter Matter and Vaughan, Skinny Guy FTV. Whoa! And all the others, when I'm all turn up here, we're going to have a big non event, eh, Ron? Yeah. Big non event. Can't have an event because the council are a bit. we we'll have a non event. Yeah, we have a non event. Yeah, non event. That's it. Where are you going into the rough stuff for, Ron? <laughs> it's a right vehicle, this. Yeah, it is, I can see that. And he's into the acrobatics again. Is it safe to stand here? We don't know. It's got a new motor on it. It's got much more power, and by Jingo's, he's using it. Push that wing fold up. It, it is much faster than it used to be. <laughs> it's, it's fairly honking. And the wind's picking up now. Suddenly, crosswind. As soon as Ron takes off, we get the big crosswind. It's Murphy's Law. I don't know that this is the best place to stand, to be totally honest. Drain landing, get in that drain. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. That's fantastic, Ron. Yeah. Use all of the available runway and no more. You know, you know, So Ron, you know what I want people to do now? Yeah. I want them to go onto Google Earth or Google Maps and go to the Tokoro Airfield and leave a review. Leave a review on Google Earth or Google Maps about the Tokoro Airfield and just mention the obvious that it's one of the most popular or most oft seen model flying sites in the world and that the local community should embrace the fact that it's seen tens of millions of times on YouTube because I think we need to prove to the community this is a valuable asset before the council sells it from under us. So if you're watching this video, I'll try and put a link in the description, but go to Google Maps, Google Earth and leave a review, hopefully a positive review, designed to show the community how valuable the airfield is as a model flying site. So if you can do that, we'd much appreciate it. Well, I think this has been our National Day of Lethargy, Ron. Even the go-karts, there's only one go-kart guy over there. There's like nothing really happening. It's like the whole country has gone to sleep today. It's a no-go-kart day. It's a no-go-kart day, exactly right. <laughs> it's like, what? Where is everybody? It's like, the, you know, there's been an apocalypse and we're the only two people left on the planet. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Did we miss an asteroid strike or something, Ron? Well, it must have been. Obviously. Yeah, because it's such a beautiful day. Even the predicted strong winds have yet to eventuate. Yeah. I'd fly my Viper jet. I got to made my Viper jet shortly, but my thumbs are no good today. I would be just. It would it's be. Just an excuse. It's an excuse, but it's a good one. Yeah. It'd be inviting disaster, so I'm going to keep that till Sunday. So if you watch the channel, you'll be able to see me. Mr. Parkinson's maidening the Viper jet, and you think Ron's elevator servo on that glider was jumpy? You won't see my thumbs. <laughs> You're going to have to do that when you go. Yeah, new servo on the glider elevator, on. They're pretty expensive, those servos, eh? No, yeah, I've run out. They were $1.50. I bought a whole, not those ones, well, those orange ones. No, worth every cent by the look of it. Yeah, I think there's some <laughs> on the back of Nobby. No, they're black now, they're gone. Oh, you mean the old Hobby King orange ones? They yeah. were great, eh? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I had, I think I bought 30 at one stage. Yeah, I bought about 10 of them, I don't know where yeah. they are. Yeah, no, and I've got, then they brought the white ones out, and there's so many different choices in the white ones. You, you can get six so many different colours of white Yeah, ones. so many different colours, all different yeah. shades, yeah. different shades of grey. Hey, you can make a movie like that, eh? Yeah. A movie about radio control models called Fifty Shades of Grey. Or yeah. 27. Yeah. So there we go. And that's it, it's another flight. Oh, must be any time to go home and have a beer. It is National Day after all.